with nodes and relationship in Neo4j, we can use Google Sheets. So we will work to create similar data as you can see over here. I use the Google Sheet data and before accessing this from the Neo4j, we need to make sure the file we share published to the web, we select the data source and we select the data type is comma separated values. We copy this link and in my case it's already published. I save it here to for easy copy and paste to the code and before start something new probably you have data in the database and we need to erase this first. So we use command match m to match everything then detach the nodes if they are connected and then delete m. I copy this code and we'll run it. So we see no nodes, no relationships. Next, we create nodes with command load CSV with heads from. We use heads because we do have a head of the table and we know the each name of the column. And we will look on this link as line. It means we will look this line by line. And what specifically the line and then the depth name. It will be the name of the column. Column A, depth name. When we run this code in the Neo4j, it will create all nodes from that column. We have 25 nodes and you can see all of them over here. And each of them has values, name and specific name that we have there. 25 we see because uh, when we clicked here there is a limit of 25 but also if we would look on the data we can see it's only 25 available 26 because we have a head that's all next we can create nodes using the command for each. For example, for value in the range 0 to 20, we create nodes year. In my case, I have many years over here. So I use 2000 plus value to create nodes for the year. and all nodes for the year created. If you want to look on specific label, you click on the specific label. If you want to see all of them, you would click over here. So, and by default, the limit 25, but we can see 46. So to see all of them, we would remove the limit and return all of them as well, you can zoom out to see all of them. Good. Next, and the last step, we will create relationships. The same technique, load CSV from and as a line. Then we match existed depth 
we merge existed year and then we merge the money where I'll look on this column year 2020 this year 2020 and because it's number we would like to make this conversion to float this line of year 2020 then using their graph data schema we connect debt has amount of money in the year when you run all this code it will create this as a nodes and connect to the proper debt name and to a year let's practice so we run this code it created 13 nodes and properties and created 66 relationships let's look on all of them together and again when we click on all of them it will limit to 25 we delete the limit and click run one more time and then to see the white screen we can look here and zoom that's all